Greg's all frog here. Let's play some Factorio efficiently. Um, so look, here's the thing. This is awesome, right? But what we have realized is that it's too slow. So how do you speed it up without multiplying the number of machines that are doing each thing? Well, one, you can move the computers away from the factories. So you can get more inserters in there doing what they need to do, right? So there could be two things loading the copper and two things unloading because I could put this on a corner, right? Um, you can speed up the belt, of course. Blue belt, absolutely, we need the blue belt to make this even better. Or you can make the loop smaller. This loop is too big. I think what we're going to find is that these loops are the right size. That even this one's a little big, but it's all self-contained, right? And they, they all use basically the same ingredients. The only difference is, is to, to get the, the other things that I want on this loop. And really, I could take off solar power and just have it be the three power generators. Then the only thing I'd need to add one more thing to this loop. And it would be much faster. It would be more compact. It would be tighter. Things would get done better. So I feel like that needs to be done. Did I not order any of these? Where's the order? Ah, oh, brutal. And I can only make 18 of them. God, I've got a lot of brick. So I think... I think that's what needs to happen. But at the same time, looking at the compiler, the compiler can stay, right? Uh, this whole loop could stay and just provide raw resources and then they'd be pulled off into the sub loops. But to do that is really complicated. So I'm kind of torn. Like, do we say this was a great proof of concept and now we go on and do this for real? Um, I don't think people want to see me rebuild the compiler again. I wish... Well, I could. I could blueprint it, export the blueprint, and bring it in. But then you can't... I won't have robots forever. Cranberry raspberry today. Um, that's kind of what... That's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. Is that it's just too slow. And how do we speed it up? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this like it is. Right, and I'm going to slowly move some of the stuff out into these sub loops because I also like the idea that look, this sub loop, the, the one that's doing, where is the maths for this? So the maths that are being done for this, I could plug into a green thing and uh, directly control these. I don't have to try and do math twice. I just run the network components for each switch. These are essentially the bridges. So for each bridge, I can use the same mathematics and run the bridge. Right, because I can bring this separate green network. Oh, God, Lord, just stop flashing. Um, and I could bridge this, make this network, and make it work. Um, wow, sorry, I just I just incredibly spiked the monitor. I got really excited and got a little too close to the mic. Sorry about that. Um, and it's it's just a... Oh God, I'm doing it a lot. Hold on, let me... You're going to get... I'm going on a ride, apparently. Oh, oh, just hold on a second. Sorry about the mic noise. Okay, I just had to move the mic away. It was good. I'm, I'm talking louder today than I have been in the past, I guess. And so I'm just excited about this concept. I'm passionate about it. And I think that ultimately that's what's going to have to happen. Is I'm going to have, I mean, I'll probably strip these guys out because they don't, they don't need to be here. And have the whole unloading section be along this side of the, the loop. Leave that there. Leave the compiler here and just slowly start moving things into their own loops that require the same things and hopefully that could speed it up i don't i don't know i'm torn give me your ideas what are we gonna what are we gonna research next laser tours are great but i'm not gonna make any for a while that was just some sort of science to do science um why yeah why would i not do this next oh hold on i ordered some did i not where's the green see i can't see the freaking orders I ordered a hundred, so yes, that is what I was doing next. Holy smokes, I actually remember things. Good. So that's what's coming out next. Now, it's going to take forever for it to happen, but... Okay, this iron is going around a lot. Why is the iron going around a lot? Oh, because it's just... it just is. Just need a lot of iron. Alright. 
Let's go check on the outpost. Make sure everything there is running smoothly. It looks like it is, because we're backed up pretty well over here. <clears throat> the stone is done? The stone is done. Alright. I'll just pick that up, too. We'll hop on. Just go, just go to the next one. It's alright. We'll screw up the timetable. It's fine. I'm running the show. It'll be okay. Yeah, that's looking fine. Got more stone up there if we really need it. Yeah, I mean, this one's kind of running down soon, but there's a lot of stuff not working because it's just it's stuck, right? So that's just how it is. Alright. I've got a ton of stone. Maybe we should start... Uh, Stonifying the factory. Make it easier to run and walk and all that business. Go ahead. I'm going to wait for you. I'm just torn. You know what I mean? I think the concept works well. I think it really does provide for some interest to the factory. It's just... It's it's just slow. You know, I have to wait three videos for an order to be done. So I'd like each thing to have its own, you know, whatever. I almost kind of want to have a system where, like, there's just copper and iron running continually along a belt, and my smart inserters just pull it off when they need it. And then have each order on its own. So rather than have one giant compiler that tells you everything, and you, or one giant order system, rather, you have an order for each loop. I think ultimately that's going to be the best idea. I just kind of would have to move everything. It's like I really want to test this right now, but I can't get any blah material. Whereas if I just let material run on this loop and pulled it off into the side loops, then it wouldn't matter that this was overloaded with you know, iron and copper, because that's all it was, was iron and copper. Then we could have a steel line that runs as well, so you just add another line. Granted, I only had the space for one line, so we'd have to get a little inventive for that. That's part of what tearing things apart would, would need, but the thing is, as we move this stuff out into its own loops, then the theory would be you don't need this interior space for all that. You could add a second line, and you just have inserters pulling off. Granted, there are no smart, long-handed inserters, unless you play with Bob's mods. And taking this concept of Bob's mods excites me and terrifies me. And maybe, maybe that's what we'll do next week, is we'll just say, okay, the concept works, let's play some Bob's mods, and uh, make it bigger. Well, we're to, see, because and, uh, and the other thing is I'm just, I'm waiting now. I'm waiting for this to work frustrating as hell because I also need electric energy distribution too to get substations which I can't do yet I mean I could set it up steel copper and advanced circuits but geez these need iron and batteries like I don't even want accumulators to be in that loop that's not that's inefficient this one could be in there but batteries should not be in here no this go away I don't need that one I only need three these are the only ones that are needed in there Give me all these. Give me that one too. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't even need... Batteries need three. They need to offload. They're going to offload there. It'll be fine. So now we've just shrunk the loop. They'll all load onto here. They'll offload to here. You know, we can't do the, the processing right where it needs to be, but so what? So, like, for instance, you're going to offload here. We're going to have to move power there, but you're going to offload there. You're going to offload here, I guess. Okay, so you guys offload in that direction. You're going to unload like this. There's no room for the computer for this stuff in here, right? And I think that's good. I think you put it on the outside. 
And I think that's just how you do it. So we got solar panels. We have the three power cords in this one loop. What else takes batteries? Laser turrets. So you can put laser turrets. Batteries, steel, electronic circuits. Accumulators need batteries and steel. Batteries and iron. But there's still only four things that go into the loop. Those two should be together on the loop. Do we use batteries in anything else? Yeah, we use them in, in... I don't have it yet, but in the power armor stuff. So you could put that in there too. That's going to annoy me. We'll just know that that's going to leave there. But that's ready, right? I like the offloading area. I think this was a good idea. I like the way that that handles it. Um, because then it pulls the raw materials. Now, at the same time, if you do loop-based structures... The other thing I don't like about the loop is it doesn't prioritize well. So I want to be able to prioritize things. Which we're not doing right now. I'm ordering inserters. Factory. Okay, yeah. Did the factory loop start? No, because we're not on to... Yeah, because th these haven't got there yet. See, this is part of what I'm talking about. Do I want to prioritize these things? I don't, I don't know. I am now, but do I want to be? It makes sense to prioritize these before this. Obviously. Hmm. I just almost feel like... But the problem is, if you if you start multiplying factories... This is going to be a thinking episode. There's not a lot of doing in this, and I apologize for that. But if you... Add... Increase the number of factories. So say... Oh, this is... That's really bugging me. You say, oh, this is too... You know, too slow. I want the actual three to two ratio for my circuits to uh, circuits to um, uh, not circuits to the the wires to circuits. You're never going to be able to assure that the factories get them evenly, like what we have up here. Sometimes the problem that becomes so it's a quandary. Um, is all the stone, do I want to turn into brick? Is that why I have it on me? Might as well. Here, have some brick. How much brick do I have? I have a ton of brick. Alright. While we're talking philosophy, let's, let's brick this place in. Alright. Go as large as we can. And just start putting in chunks of brick. That's too close to the water, apparently. See, there's very interesting rules about brick and water. And I'm not sure what that is. And I'm too far from all of this stuff to make it uh, make it work the way I want to. We'll just run through here. Yeah, see, so you can't you can't you can't put the brick too close to the water. I'm not sure why that is. It's a lot of brick. But again, you can't go by the water. Don't know why. You just can't. So close. Alright, so I can all that. I can at least walk a little faster in the places I can't walk. It does work on belts, though, so if you put it underneath the belts, then okay. And that works as well. <laughs> I should probably do that. Oh, it doesn't, then it doesn't look as pretty. Like that. Does make you run faster though. I dig that. A 
That's all I have left is 77. Oh, I have 107, 217. Alright. So I'm thinking as I'm doing this, and what I'm thinking is, is it worth moving all this crap? Is our order over? I've got 20 of those. No, because I don't have any of these. We're still working. Now what are we on? We're on the... Yeah, we're up into, into here. How many of those do I need? Probably a ton. What are we waiting for, guys? That's not the right one. What are we waiting for? 60, 100, 180. 60, 100. So I need 100 of them. Alright. What you can do, right? Love that. <sighs> okay. I have nine brick left. I had 217. Now I have nine. Interesting. There you go. That's the nine left. We'll go get some more. Just to finish paving in the uh, order area, and then I'll feel then I'll feel happy. Can't go anything by that because reasons. Silly reasons, but reasons nonetheless. <laughs> All right, and that's too close to the lake. It helps me go faster even when I'm going against the belt. Empirical evidence, one way or the other? I honestly don't know. Cool. Alright. So that's what I'm thinking about, right? Is is redoing the stuff. Because here we are, we're at the end of the episode. Almost. I know, I've still got another two minutes. But we're at the end of the episode, and this order is not done. Not by long shot. Right? We're still waiting. And I don't think that this is really unreasonable of an order. It's not. And it's just, it's taken for bloody ever, and I can't change it in the middle to do what I need to do. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? Like, I'm watching this loop, and thinking, God, if only this could have left sooner how much better would that have been but then what i'm going to do a set reset switch for each type going onto a sub loop that's insanity but if i had one if i had one compiler for each sub loop yeah if i had one compiler for each sub loop and that compiler fed the answers back to these Right? You wouldn't even have to feed the answers back to this. You do a set reset switch. On, on the outside, you have one. Does the number in the box equal the number out there? Yes, reset the damn thing. Done. It would be so much simpler than having to do all of this math. I just want to restart the whole thing. And unfortunately, because I'm going on vacation this week, I can't just, like, leave it up here and ask you guys and then do it because I've got to re I have to pre-record. So, I'm at a loss. And smart inserters are so slow. Now, part of the problem, of course, I, I just finished bo playing Bob's Mods. So, I'm used to everything being just fast as hell. And, you know, it's, it's not in vanilla, so... I don't know. I 
And I almost feel like slowing down the loop. Well, I guess it kind of is important on the pickup points. I'm going to say it's almost unimportant, but no, we'll, we'll keep doing it. See, because we haven't even started one of these. Like, these should be loading in. But they're not. So the question is, could you get them to load in also? I think the answer is you could. I think you have the one compiler coming up with everything for each loop, feeding the results back to the to the input. That's that's what we're gonna do. This is our test case. This is basically what we did here. Is we had the we have the one compiler, right? It's compiling the two things, because there's only two things in the loop right now. It's feeding the answers back into the gate. The gate says, alright, bring this stuff in, and we're in. So that's effectively what I'm doing here. I need one for each thing that's coming in. They're fed in to the gate. It's this is working as a, as, a, as a total gate. It's an AND gate, right? It's not, a, it's not an OR gate. It's an AND gate. So if these are both done, then trigger along. But I feel like you, you would need three for each one. This is still the best way. But then you just want to make gates that don't need a lot of materials or dependent on other made products. I almost feel like if it's in the intermediary products tab, maybe we should just make a bunch of these two. But then is that being efficient? You know what I mean? Like, does that break the point of the series? And part of me says, yeah, it breaks the part of the series. And then the rest of me says, just make it, man. Just make it, make it, make it, make it. Because you need it. You can't be waiting for this stuff to happen. And when we get down to the advanced circuits, are you kidding me? It's eight a piece. Processing units, 15 seconds a piece for a processing unit. It's going to take three hours to make an order. So the loops work. The ordering system works. But it's too mi macro. It needs to be micro. And so I think that this week will be the last week for this series. And we'll try a few more concepts using some macro things. And then go from there. Okay, we're still making these things too. Wow. That's nuts. Well, that's the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated on everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.